Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Big shout out to Peter, my moderator. Thanks for sending me this clip, Peter. Anyway, Piers Morgan interviewing the two filmmakers, Kip and Cameron, of the new documentary, Christ Spiracy. So you think they might get into some deep, heavy waters of theology and biblical history. Well, I'll show you how it quickly devolved into typical Piers Morgan nonsense. Well, I have a question for you, Piers. Do you feel that Jesus, how would Jesus kill an animal? Do you think Jesus would kill an animal? Because at the time, back in the day, he would be the one who killed it, uh, the animal. I, I think given that most human beings of that time probably would have killed animals to eat them. What would he do? Can you give us a visual of what Jesus would he do? Would do when what he everybody else did at the time. Which is would, he, would Jesus use a knife? Would he break the, the, break Possi the, possibly, the neck? Possibly, yeah. I don't know. Jesus I wasn't there, but it? it's quite possible, yeah. Why you, wouldn't you it be? You can imagine Jesus, you, you, Jesus holding the lamb, the beautiful picture. You can imagine Well, let me ask you to a question. A knife, All right, let me, let me ask it. you to a question back. Are you both practicing vegans or what are you? Gee, I wonder why he's asking this question for. Yeah, uh, yes. Well, okay. I, one, I, of the, one, of the, one of the many things. So you're both, I am now just, because of what I learned. Okay, you're both, yeah, you're both vegans. Okay, so do you eat avocados or almonds or both? <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're ready for this one. Yeah. I mean, how could they not be ready? It's not as if Pierce Morgan asked this question before to prior vegan guests on his shows. Would you eat, do you drink almond milk? Oh, you've ticked off another one. Fantastic, do want, Piers. Uh, do you eat almonds? Almond, do you drink almond milk, eat almonds? In the government. Do you eat avocados? So vegans can eat almonds and eat avocados. Piers, I actually don't eat avocados. I don't enjoy, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, almonds. I don't enjoy almonds. I do, I do enjoy avocados. And in fact, because okay. of the- All right, Piers think he has his gotcha moment. Aha, I found a vegan who eats avocados. Veganism debunked. And for I'm, many, many, for many years, I hand, I live in California. I handpicked my own avocados because of the atrocities okay. that happened to Kim? the bees that you're Kim? gonna mention. That's hilarious. Cameron already knows that Piers will mention this atrocity that's happening to the bees that Piers has not yet mentioned but inevitably will it just all shows how Piers is just so one-track minded oh you're vegan oh you eat almonds and avocados oh bees are killed veganism debunked I'm done so what you got to remember Piers is the bees are actually for the honey industry and they're rented out to, to the to the avocado industry. I know, I know what happens to show you that plant, I'm just actually, telling you plant, but in the, as plant you know, agriculture isn't perfect and that's a point that needs to be stated to dunce Pierce here yeah plant agriculture isn't perfect and that has no nothing to do with vegans like yeah of, of a if an animal or even a human gets injured or killed in the production of plants how is that the fault of vegans we have nothing to do with that that's the fault of the agriculture industry but Pierce has it in his mind that vegans somehow are perfect beings and if any animal or person gets harmed or killed in the production of foods it's the vegans fault and veganism is debunked the reason yeah. i go on about this with vegans is vegans are the most self-righteous people on god's earth nope completely disagree the most self-righteous people on this earth are bigoted a-holes like piers morgan you know he's a bigot towards vegans he just makes just to say that vegans are the most self-righteous people on earth just shows how he's generalizing he's stereotyping all people on one class vegans as being one way and that's bigotry uh and whenever i ask them do you eat almonds and avocados invariably they eat one or the other or both like who gives a crap most non-vegans also consume almonds and or avocados but again somehow any harm that happens in the production of plants falls solely on us vegans that makes zero sense unless you're an illogical bigot like peers and they don't like to be confronted with the reality that in the production of their favorite foodstuffs. Like, please, Piers, show me the data that almonds and avocados are the favorite foodstuffs of vegans. You can't because you're making this crap up. Billions, literally billions of bees, the little guys. Wow, billions? I've never heard that before. This is something entirely new from Piers. That literally billions of insects get murdered. Billions of insects get murdered. Billions. Really, Piers, not only billions of insects, but they're actually murdered? Please tell me more how insects are murdered. Billions of bees who get murdered. How do you feel about the little guys? They don't guys? get murdered. Um, that's completely false, and I don't know why. How many billions, how many me, billions of bees die in, in the pollination? I've of got the 2022 data right on, here. Then. They die mostly from parasites and pests. Awesome. So Joy brought some governmental statistics here. Let's see how Piers Morgan responds when presented with facts and reality, rather than make-believe hyperbole nonsense. 
6% die mm. of uh, uh, varroa mites? Or other Only 6% die from pesticides, so it's not a really a rights violation, not murdering the bees. Joey, here's dying. my point. So just like that, Joey debunked this murdering the bees nonsense of Pierce's. No, listen, you don't you care do, about there's a, no reason to be upset about sometimes, pollination. Sometimes 50 they die from billion... mites. Why aren't you angry at the mites? Hang on, Joey. Yeah, Pierce, why aren't you pissed off at the mites? Because they're the ones killing the vast majority of the bees, and it's not like the vegans are killing the rats. No, pesticides are, are what's killing the rats. It's problems in agriculture, problems in producing plants. Again, vegans don't have any control over, over this. So why are you pissed off at us? Furthermore, you have no reason to be pissed off at us because we're not the ones who consume the majority of avocados and almonds because we're like one or two percent of the food buying population. So if you want to be pissed off at someone, be pissed off at yourself and your kind, Pierce, your meat-eating friends. Billions. All right, billions of bee deaths, cool. I'll take that number, Piers. Remember, if anyone's going to bear the responsibility of that, it's mainly on you meat eaters, Piers. You are party to mass murder. Mass murder. And I just wonder how you feel about that. No, Pierce, there's no mass murder, as Joey Carpstrom so eloquently explained to you. If there's any murder, and this is a real stretch, it's mites killing bees. Pierce. Plant agriculture is not perfect, and it's because it's the no, agricultural vegans system aren't perfect, has been dominated by. No, Piers, vegans aren't perfect, and that's the assumption he needs to have to be true in order to have his stupid, lame, illogical arguments work. He needs to have this understanding or definition of vegans being perfect beings, but. That's not what veganism is about. Let's check out the long-standing definition of veganism that goes back to the 1940s. It's all about being against animal cruelty and exploitation. It says nothing in here about being perfect, zero harm. Like so many anti-vegans, Piers Morgan is conflating the idea of what he thinks veganism is with the actual idea of ahimsa, the ahimsa concept from Jainism, which is kind of what Piers Morgan is talking about, the idea of us kind of sort of being like perfect beings where no harm to any living being is acceptable. But once again, that's not veganism, that's Jainism. And yet here Pierce, I have you, Pierce, you're doing what about, you, you're doing what about is cornered as mass murderers. No, you don't have these two vegans cornered. They're not Janus. Can you, eth is there any ethical way to kill 90 billion animals per year to eat them? There is an ethical way to eat an avocado. Yeah, this is an excellent point where meat eaters trying to confuse the issue like, oh, you're causing harm eating your avocados and your kale, so I can have all this additional harm, like 20 times, 100 times more by eating all those avocados and kale you're eating, plus I'm gonna eat animals that need to be raised for slaughter, 90 billion per year now. But yeah, it's a great point. I can just go out in the yard, grab an avocado off the tree. If I had an avocado tree, eat it. No animal had to be killed, but try doing that to get a steak or hamburger. Why don't you stop, is there an ethical way to why kill don't you stop feeding the mass murder of bees culture. That's all I'm asking you. Yeah, this is classic whataboutism. Instead of addressing the central issues of what veganism is, being against animal cruelty and exploitation, and 90 billion animals being slaughtered needlessly, Pierce instead, what's, what about this here? What about the bees in California and avocados? Uh, I can't take you vegan seriously because um, some bees might be harmed when you eat your favorite avocados and almonds all day. That's all you guys eat all day. So veganism debunked. No, no, no. no. Pierce, there is an ethical way to eat, eat an avocado I'm without an killing avocado. any bees. I'm... Bees die when they sting you, Pierce. The point is, is there's no ethical way around killing an animal to eat it. The animal has to die and it has to go through suffering. 99% of all animals are factory farmed, Pierce. Do you, how, yeah. how much meat do you eat, Pierce? I'm... To be honest, I really didn't eat many almonds until I started countering these stupid arguments from Pierce Morgan. So, you know, since he's such a nutritional expert and authority on what vegans eat, I didn't know these were like the staples of what vegans eat you know it's like you know our favorite foods and stuff there must be something really important these almonds so i need to do my duty and eat more almonds now well thanks to you pierce morgan thanks for turning me on to the greatness of almonds you know you did it almonds are tasty i can't believe i didn't eat that many almonds for so many years as a vegan but anyway it's pointless as this interview on Piers' show seemed to be for Kip and Cameron, I'm glad they did it because it was great promotion. I didn't show the entire interview, obviously. I probably get a copyright strike or something like that, but they showed some clips from the trailer, talked a little bit more about what's in the movie. And it does sound quite interesting. Basically, it's um, not, I'm probably going to mess it all up, but they present some what they believe some strong evidence that strongly suggests that the historical Jesus Christ 
did not eat animal flesh. I'm not sure for what reasons or the ethical reasons or whatever. I want to see Christ's spiracy now. So yeah, I think there it was mission accomplished for them. They got nothing accomplished debating such a bonehead like Piers Morgan, but they got their um, they got the publicity for their movie. So um, but anyway, yeah, let me know if you saw it. Tell your opinions down below. And once again, share your opinions about, about Piers Morgan. Um, <laughs> does he have a second trick beyond almonds and avocados and billions of bees? That's pretty much, you know, if you're going to go on a show, be prepared for that. Because, you know, he's going to throw that out you because he has nothing else. Anyway, guys, leave your questions, com comments down below. Hit like, share this video. And if you think everything I said was complete rubbish and Piers Morgan is some kind of fact machine, everything he says is true and he's fully logical, um, come to my Friday live streams and point out to me what a ridiculous idiot I am. I can't wait for you to do that. If you like what I'm saying, <laughs> on the other hand, if you think Piers Morgan is a ridiculous idiot, come to my Friday live streams and share that with us. So I'll see you guys soon. In fact, I think I might do the live stream right after I air this video. So just stick around. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Remember, don't suck being vegan.